All right, so just unloaded the kiln, and I'm going to go ahead and shoot a quick video here, or I don't know how quick it'll be, but we'll go ahead and look at these pots. I don't know how great the light is down here. It seems a little dark, but um, I'm going to go ahead and shoot it, and there will probably be some photographs later too. Yep, so anyhow, nice looking load of pots, lots of, uh, quite a few different things. Um, had some animal jars. These flying pigs are a new pot that have kind of been uh, popular, and I wanted a few of those to take to my show this weekend. So we've got those guys and a couple bird jars. And then these little double dishes. I made a couple of those. Um, one with a handle and one with a bird. Those are handy little pots. They're good for olives or nuts or condiments, chips and not chips and salsa, but uh, salsa, sour cream, guacamole, that kind of thing. Good little everyday pot to use. These are new soup mugs, and I really like these. I had about a dozen of these in here, so I'm getting ready for winter. Soup, and a few couple serving bowls. I really like this one in the back with that titanium slip over the orange slip. And I had a couple pitchers in this load that came out nice. I'm always happy when I get a good pitcher. I had four pitchers, but uh, two of them didn't make it in. Didn't have enough room. Those are in the back. They look good. Some jars. I think I had these jars on Facebook showing you how I did this roulette texture. Pleased with those. Two taller bottles. That one's got some combing and stamping on it. And then a group of tumblers. Some of those will be going to my show in Glowing Rock tomorrow. Then I had uh, maybe about four of these big pie plates or baking dishes. That one got some pretty nice color on the edge there and really just all over. And um, here's a couple vases. These are sort of new. This blue slip is a different blue slip than I'd used in the past and I'm just never knowing what I'm going to get with these blue slips in the soda um, so yeah so anyway it's I mean it's kind of a blue black um, it's got about two percent cobalt in it and so it's kind of shiny on that side and then on this side that was uh, facing the back of the kiln is a little more matte a nice it's a nice pot though then that one in the back is really cool too and then I had um I had about a half dozen or so honey pots These will be nice. People are getting honey now, so uh, I went ahead and brought a honey stick down here to put in there. Kind of show you what that's all about. I had to order those honey sticks that came in the mail today because I was completely out. And then I had a few um, mugs with the titanium yellow slip, which is always really awesome when it gets when it gets a lot of soda. It's got got that beautiful iridescence to it. It'd be hard to see down here in this light. Hopefully I'll have some photos up later. I had a few square luncheon plates. Or squared. They're not square square. There's Karma. She's hot. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> some nice uh, mixing bowls. <clears throat> and then here's a group of blue mugs. So I put this slip on pretty thin. And you can see I got the clay body showing through, through there. It's blue here. It's a little gray elsewhere. So I don't know. I'm, I'm still I'm still trying to figure this this slip out, and even trying to decide if it's something that I'm gonna I'm gonna use. This there was a couple of these that were actually pretty nice. Lots of variation all around. This one I think this one was on the very bottom shelf in the back back of the kiln. I don't know if it's my eyes or if it's it's just really out of focus. But anyway, I'm going to keep shooting here. I had quite a lot of these everyday, really uh, standard coffee mugs, but they all got some really good flashing and soda. Good cups. And then some little uh, square dishes. These are good for candles or uh, spoon rests or a little, little treat plate. And then over here, I've got some pots with the uh, with the copper glaze. So some of the mugs, I had some of these in the last load, these sort of standard mugs 
with the copper glaze. Here's another serving bowl pot plate. Here's another kind of one of those big, bigger pot plates. And then another serving bowl there. And then some smaller cups. There's a couple honey pots with that thin blue slip on it that went kind of dark. A few spoon rests with the bluebird. And then I had this um, long rectangular dish. I had a couple of these, but only one made it in the kiln this time. So uh, I'll get the other one fired next go around. I think it had a rope texture, but this one turned out great. All right, so still pretty warm in that kiln there. And I'll just give you a little overview here. Yep, so tomorrow, uh, let's see, tomorrow is July the 16th, and I will be headed up to Blowing Rock, North Carolina, to do a show at the Art in the Park. And most of these pots aren't going. I've already got most of the pots packed up that I'm taking to Art in the Park, but a few of these will be going. Some of the, a couple honey pots, tumblers, definitely the flying pigs. This jar back here, I didn't talk about it. It's really nice, but the lid is uh, st stuck at the moment. I'm hoping I can get it off later. Should be able to. All right, so there you go. There you have it. Some of these will be on Etsy next week. Some will be going to galleries. I'm making a big gallery run next week to uh, the Piedmont, North Carolina. So hopefully some of these will be in some shops as well. All right. It's got a little long, but I hope uh, I hope you saw some nice pots. And as always, thanks for watching. See you later. Cheers.